क्वेश्चन नंबर 106 सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द एनर्जी फ्लो इन इकोसिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑप्शन प्लांट्स कैप्चर टू टू 10% ऑफ इंसिडेंट सोलर रेडिएशन फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस नो इट इज नॉट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट व्हाई बिकॉज़ प्लांट्स दे कैप्चर टू टू 10% ऑफ द फोटोसिंथेटिकली एक्टिव रेडिएशन और पार फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस Second, energy flow in an ecosystem is always multidirectional. No, it is always unidirectional. So, this is also wrong. Third one, energy remains trapped in any organism permanently. No, energy flows from one trophic level to another trophic level. It cannot be trapped in any organism permanently. Fourth one, energy flow follows the law of thermodynamics. It is true. The correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 107. In hydrox succession, lichens are the pioneer community. No. In xerox succession, lichens are the pioneer community. But in hydrox succession, these are phytoplanktons which form the pioneer community. Second, Germination and establishment of propagules does not occur. No, it happens. Third one, the succession occurs from xeric to mesic condition. No, in hydrox succession, it is the hydric to mesic conditions. But in xerox succession, it is xeric to mesic condition. So, this is also wrong. Fourth one, total biomass and humus content of soil increases. This is true. So, the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 108. Amount of all the inorganic substances present in an ecosystem per unit area at a given time is? It is the standing state. This is the definition of standing state. What about the standing crop? It is the total biomass present in an ecosystem per unit area at a given time. So this is incorrect. What is nutrient immobilization? When nutrients are trapped by the organisms in their cells, this is called nutrient immobilization. So this is wrong. Leaching, it is when the nutrients are drained from the soil, this is called the leaching. So this is wrong. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 109. Identify the incorrect statement regarding food web. It is the network of interconnected food chains. This is true. Second, occurrence of food web provides stability to ecosystem. This is also true. In a food web, a sparrow could be primary producer or secondary producer. A sparrow cannot be producer ever. So this is wrong. Fourth one, food webs operate because of taste preference for particular food and availability of food. This is also true. So the correct option for the given question is option number Three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 110. Find the odd statement with respect to the phosphorus cycle. First option, natural reservoir of phosphorus is rocks. This is true. Second, herbivores and other animals, they obtain phosphorus from soil. No. Herbivores and other animals obtain phosphorus from the plants, whereas these plants, they obtain phosphorus from soil. Third one, there is no respiratory release of phosphorus into atmosphere. True. Inputs of phosphorus through rainfall is much smaller as compared to the carbon. It is also true. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm.